Hi everybody, uh, today we are going to show you how to upgrade your BMW 188mm limited slip differential to 40% lock. Uh, it is quite upgrade compared to factory setup because factory setup as you know is only 25% and it has only two clutches uh, compared to our, st our stage 1 upgrade pack which has three clutches. So it will raise your lock to 40% it will give you better durability, which is uh, really the key point if you're going to drive your car on the racetrack. So why is this our best-selling product? It's the best-selling product because it requires absolutely no modification, so it is plug-and-play. Very easy to install, we're going to show you that now. And uh, it brings you more durability, more lock and more performance. So now we're going to make a video how to install it in the factory unit. To install this clutch kit, uh, you need to dismantle the differential from the car. We already did that, you all know how to drop the differential from the chassis. Uh, to cut the video, we also wash the differential completely, so everything is uh, cleaned and ready to be installed. You do that part, make sure you clean all the parts, all the components inside really well before you install the clutch pack. Uh, we already did that. Uh, so, uh, when you clean everything, uh, unscrew these bolts, we already did that, remove them and then use one screwdriver to remove the cap. And this is what you will find inside the unit. So three washers from the cap, remember the, remember the order of the washer, so the flat one goes here, a preload washer, velvet washer goes right here and then oil washer oil shim goes on the top and then remove all other components spider gear large one when you remove that you have preload washer remember how it was placed in the diff facing upwards dog gear plate clutch plate pressure plate as you can see by the way uh, this clutch plate is quite worn, which you can see from these marks over here. This differential was uh, treated badly, so it is quite worn out. Uh, time for the replacement. Those marks you can see right here on the pressure plate. Uh, you shouldn't leave this surface like this. Shouldn't be rough. Uh, but we will come later to that point. So, next, small spider gear central pin another pair and lower large spider gear lower clutch pack pressure plate clutch dog gear and preload the key point for the installation is this 4 mm thick spacer on the bottom of the LSD unit you can see it right here it is 4 mm thick, so this clutch pack together, dog gear and clutch disc, is 4 mm thick, so it is the same thickness. Uh, BMW left this on purpose, uh, it left it to be removed so you can easily install the third clutch pack from our stage 1 clutch kit. So uh, you will no longer need this one, you can remove it, put it on the side. You will no longer need it when you installing uh, stage one clutch pack. And at the bottom of the differential, again, three small shims. Oil shim goes on top. Below, uh, uh, preload shim, you can see it here. And then flat shim. So clear it like this. And this unit is completely empty. Now to show you what you get in a stage one clutch pack from us when you purchase it to unbox the package. You have the preload shim set and you have the clutch pack set which contains three clutch discs, uh, three dog ear plates.
you can use this disc to hold the beer so it's great and to show you now the parts which are important clutch disc clutch disc clutch disc dog gear plate dog gear plate and again dog gear plate and to unbox this one you have here two brand new uh, preload shims a little bit stronger than factory shims those are used for many kilometers they uh, they are weakened and uh, this is the strong brand new shim so you have that as well and the last part oh I almost forgot this one this is the important thing if you have pressure plates like this this one will save you that is why we'll, we call it ramp saver shim or pressure plate saver plate. So to unbox it to show you what is it for. This is 0.5 millimeter thick uh, ramp saver, which is actually a dog ear plate. And it is used to, uh, to correct this surface. I will explain you that later when we come to assembly uh, of this unit. So basically in the stage one kit you get all these parts. Now we're going to show you how to put them together in the LSD unit. Before we start assembly of this unit, uh, now we're going to talk about ramp saver shim and how to deal with the, with the damaged pressure plates. So you shouldn't leave it like this as I said before. Uh, gonna take, uh, you're going to take them to the surface grinder uh, to lower this surface for 0.25 millimeters until it gets silky and smooth. Do that with this one as well, you can do it together because they are the same height. So uh, 0 0.25, 0.25, it gives you 0.5 overall thickness loss. Uh, to get back that thickness, you have ramp saver shim, which is 0.5, exactly the same thickness which you took off from these surfaces. You will uh, get it with this, get it back with this. Uh, it goes uh, between last dog gear plate and upper uh, spring shim, the preload wash, because there is no friction between this and this plate, so it will last forever, so don't worry. Don't put it right here, this is the crucial mistake, because it will burn after the first lap on the, on the track. Put it between last dog gear and upper uh, spring shim. So, now we're gonna start assembly, I explain you that, and we're gonna put it together for you. Now for the assembly. Before you assemble everything, we, we won't do that in this video, but uh, you have to do that in order to prevent premature damage of the clutch plates. Soak all components which you see over here, soak them in oil before you assemble everything together. Because if you assemble uh, those discs on dry without lubrication on this surface, uh, you will most likely end up with destroyed clutch plates in the first lap. So it is very important that you uh, oil everything up before you put it together. And finally, to show you the assembly process. First, don't forget three small shims. I will tell you order again. Flat shim goes on the bottom. Then small spring shim. Uh, this part goes down. And the old shim. Uh, perforation goes upwards towards the, the spider gear. Then, this preload shim, again facing this way, you're following, hopefully. Uh, dog gear plate. Clutch plate. Again dog gear plate, this is the second pack. Clutch pack, uh, clutch plate, sorry. Pressure plate, smoothen, not like this, but we don't have time to make it at the moment. Large spider gear. When you 
putting this lower lar large part in here. Make sure they uh, that uh, it go through uh, the both clutch disc because you now have two clutch plates, not only one. So make sure it is fitted properly all the way down. Then cross pins with small spider gears. Second pack. Again, check them if they are in their ledges perfectly. Large spider gear, pressure plate again, clutch pack, clutch plate, dog ear plate. And if your amps are damaged, as I said before, now it is time to put the amp saver shim and then close it with. Uh, the spring shim, the preload shim. Cap. Don't forget three, three small washers. Again, flat one, spring washer, oil washer, like this. Hold it with your finger, so they don't come uh, between this surface and uh, the spring shim. This is the, the mistake you can make right here at this point. Align those holes right here, perfectly, and then take the carry unit to the hydro press uh, to press down the cap all the way down and return small washers, uh, sorry, small screws like they were. Uh, tighten the, those screws, you should tighten them uh, 40 Newton meters of torque. So, this is the torque spec for those bolts right here. We now showed you all details regarding the installation of our stage one clutch pack inside the factory uh, BMW limited slip differential 188 millimeter size. Uh, we skipped all details regarding dropping off the differential from the chassis uh, and washing all the parts, uh, oil, oiling them and dismantling the carrier unit itself. So. If you have the questions regarding that, please write us an email or all details or contacts are in the description, so make sure you read it. And please subscribe, like and share if you like our content and follow us for more videos. Thank you for watching.